A customer's computer has had a major failure. Either the CPU or the motherboard has failed. So the options that I gave that particular customer were to upgrade that computer, replace the motherboard CPU and memory or build them a new computer. I gave them the choices, I worked them out a quote and they decided to go with a brand new computer. So these are the parts that are going to make up that computer. So let's take a look at each part one by one. When building a computer the most important part is the CPU or central processing unit. The CPU that I've chosen for this computer is a Core i3-2100. This is a dual-core hyper-threaded CPU. It runs at 3.1 GHz and is based on the latest Sandy Bridge technology which was released in January 2011. The motherboard I'm going to be using is a Biostar H67 chipset motherboard. It's one of the brand new motherboards that has had the SATA controller bug fixed. As you can see from the B3 version bug 3 sticker on the front there. The motherboard itself is a fairly cheap no frills affair. It has two memory sockets for DDR3 RAM. It has SATA 2 and SATA 6 gigabit connectors. Uh, it has one PCI Express socket for a graphics card, which we'll be talking about later, uh, and a couple of PCIs and a small PCI Express times one connector. The memory I'm going to be putting in this computer is two two gigabyte sticks of crucial DDR3 RAM running at. 1,333 MHz. The hard disk drive is 1TB in size with 32MB of cache. This will prove sufficient for almost any purpose. This computer is going to be used for some moderate to light gaming. The graphics card that I've chosen is a XFX Radeon HD 5830 with 1GB of video memory. I will be putting in a standard DVD rewriter drive from LG. The case will be an Antec 300, which is a MIDI tower case, and the power supply will also be an Antec at 450 watts. This is an 80 plus rated power supply. The customer has also chosen to upgrade their monitor from 15 inch flat screen and I have chosen a 22 inch viewable area 21.5 inch Hans G monitor for them. To round it off I've chosen a Microsoft keyboard and mouse and Windows 7 Home Premium Edition at 64-bit so we can make use of all of that 4GB of RAM.